So welcome back. So now we can create and we can uh, read and we can update. Let's look at the delete. We're going back to our API here um, inside the help here. And you can see if I scroll down, here's the delete one. There we go. Again, I need an ID and I can go and read all of this beautifulness if I want to. Um, there's there's a good amount of help without us doing anything. And I want to delete uh, number two. That's the plane. So I'm just going to put in the ID of two right here right after the slash and then I'll do delete request instead and I'll do a send now let me just clear the body because I don't want anything in here and I'll just do a send now look at how much it doesn't matter what you actually do notice that they all look the same we always start with this right so that's the, one of the powers of the rest API's they look the same you just have to add some kind of HTTP request uh, method that you decide you want to send so now it says something with, it just brings back the name we deleted. So let's try and do a get all again, just to make sure that this guy has actually been removed from the database and number two is gone. So the delete request works as well. So that's all for this lesson. Now you can do the full CRUD setup and you can actually even test it without the UI. The UI will just be this simple postman or anything looking like postman that can just try and explain to you what do you actually get back and what do you need to send to your REST API or somebody else's REST API to make it work? And I think that's very powerful. Instead of building an entire UI to test stuff, just having a tool like this that can very quickly just test your APIs. See you in the next lesson where I'll just try and dive into some of the things in the controller. Have fun.